Hello and welcome to this University of Brighton School of Architecture and Design video tutorial on the use of the Livy lighting visualizer scripts within Blender to export geometry to the Radiance lighting simulation suite, uh, do the Radiance calculation and import the results back into Blender for visualization. Um, we're currently using here Blender version 2.57 um, and Blender 2.57 is included in the Livy zip file which is available on the HIDE website uh, the details of which will be posted with this video um, but um, subsequent versions of Blender including the 2.6 version should work as well um, when we first open up Blender uh, the default screen will look something very similar to this. We have our main 3D view in the middle, which I've loaded up a very simple uh, cityscape into. Uh, we have our animation timeline here along the bottom. We have our outliner or object list view up here in the top right. And we have our uh, properties panel or properties panels set up here on the lower right hand side. So the first thing we need to do is we have to, once you've downloaded the zip file and installed uh, the directory within your Mac OS X application folder, then the first thing we need to do upon starting Blender is to go into File, User Preferences, and we need to activate the Livy interface within Blender. To do that, we go to the Add-ons tab here, uh, we select import export from the list at the side here and we should see import export lighting visualizer make sure this is ticked and if you want Libby to appear in the blender interface every time you start blender then you can choose set as default down here at the bottom uh, we can also in here select things like emulate numpad if you're using a laptop and there's no uh, numpad on your laptop uh, in the interface, zoom to mouse position, rotate around selection, auto perspective are quite good settings to turn on as well. But experiment with those, that's up to uh, personal preference really. So once we've activated Livy in our user preferences, then if we press N with our mouse in the 3D view, that opens up the properties panel for the 3D view which opens up on the right hand side of the 3D view at the bottom of that panel which you might need to scroll down to see we have our three Livy sections our Livy export, Livy calculator, Livy display and we tend to work downwards through these options for exporting to Radiance, doing the Radiance calculation and then finally displaying the results back in Blender so I'm just going to collapse these down so I can see my Livy export on my screen here. So um, for the export to Radiance, we need to have um, somewhere where we are asking Radiance to calculate lighting metrics for us. And we do that with geometry. Um, and the material of that geometry must have the name CalcSurf in it. So I'm just going to create a sensing plane for my cityscape and I'm going to do that by selecting the ground plane here I'm going to press shift D to duplicate it I'm going to press G and then Z to grab and move it in the Z axis slightly so it sits just above my ground plane that's fine we don't want it to coincide with the ground plane because that will obscure the plane from the the sensing plane from the lighting calculation. So once I have a plane I need to subdivide that plane into a number of faces because it's at each face that Radiance will do a lighting calculation for us. And at the moment we just have one face so we would only get one calculation done in the middle of the plane which isn't usually what we want. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to bring now up my tools menu by pressing T. So we can see our tools menu now here on the left of our 3D view. Uh, what I'm now going to do is press W to go into the specials menu and I'm going to select subdivide. 
and in this little subdivide menu down below our tools panel I can specify the number of subdivisions that I want on my plane and I'm going to select 50 subdivisions. So I now have 50 by 50 faces within my sensing plane. So I will now get a, a radiance result, a lighting metric result at each of these points on the plane and that's a, a reasonable resolution for this demonstration. So I'm going to tab out of edit mode and I'm going to tell Blender that the material name of that sensing plane has the word calc surf in it. So over here I go to my material panel I have my plane here still selected and it has copied the materials from the original ground plane which is here but I'm going to specify a new material for this plane and I'm going to call it CalcSurf. I can call it if I wish CalcSurf Ground or CalcSurf 1 whatever doesn't matter as long as it has the name CalcSurf in it. So once I've created that I can leave the material as the same for now. The actual material characteristics don't matter too much because this is just a sensing plane. Uh, so I'm mostly interested in changing the name. If I don't want that surface to be a part of my radiance calculation, then I make it transparent. And here in my material panel, I can set transparency, I can set ray trace, and I can set alpha or opacity to zero. Once I've done that, the plane will be invisible to the radiance calculation. It will only act as a calculation point for lighting metrics. So no light will bounce off this plane. It won't interact with the lighting in the scene. Um, so I just check that my other objects have materials associated with them. They all do, so that's fine. So um, I can now go to my Livy export panel. And while I think about it, I will control W and save the file. I saved over that file because I'd already saved it before but if uh, if you haven't saved the file it's important that you save it before you start exporting through the Livy panels. So I have a camera because we're using um, HDR lighting on this model I don't have any lights in the scene just my geometry and my camera. So um, in the Livy export panel I can select uh, the kind of um, simulation I want and for the moment snapshot or a specific moment in time is um, is the one that works. Um, I can select either vertices or faces as my calculation points on my sensing plane so the calculation points will either be the center of the face or the vertices between the faces depending on this option. But I'm going to leave it on faces for now uh, for geometry export, static is uh, is the one that works. Dynamic will be coming later on. Um, and I can pick a sky type. I can pick an HDR sky that I've created with the techniques on the um, HIDE web portal. Or I can pick a daylight factor sky, cloudy, partly cloudy, or sunny. I'm going to pick a sunny sky for now. Um, I'm going to turn off daylight saving because I'm going to have for a latitude and longitude of approximately Brighton uh, I'm going to pick a simulation for the month of January the 1st of January at 3 o'clock in the afternoon so I click export it shouldn't take very long because the geometry is not very complex now that I've exported it and there are no error messages or anything I can now go to my Libby calculator panel I can specify what metric I wish to analyze because this is an external scene. Uh, irradiance or watts per meter squared is often quite useful for calculating potential solar power or heat gains for example. So I'm going to leave it on irradiance and we're going to leave the simulation accuracy on low um, so that um, in terms of making this video we don't spend too long simulating. If we turn it up to high and we have complex scene then simulation times can be quite long. Um, so that's fine. So, uh, oh, you will also notice that on pressing export with the time that we selected we have created a sun within Blender. 
Uh, that's not there for the radiance calculation, but it is there for final blender rendering. Uh, so everything is set up. Uh, it's usually a good idea to press at this point Radiance Preview. Now Radiance Preview should open up a window, a Radiance window which previews the scene for us through our scene camera. Now that image might come out very white or very dark. If it does, press E, enter and click on the image and it will simply normalize the exposure level of the image so that we can view it on screen well. Um, and that looks fine. The buildings are the sort of material characteristic that I've given them. We can see uh, that the sensing plane is not visible within this radiant scene, only the ground plane. And we can see our HDR textured background in the background. Now that HDR image in the background was automatically created by uh, the export button with these times selected. And if we go to our world tab, we can see here our sky and our ground. Um, and that then is the HDR background for the scene and we'll illuminate the scene. So the radiance preview looked okay, so I can now go ahead and click simulate. Now I've got 50 by 50, 2,500 sensing points, but that was quite quick because of the low accuracy. Um, so once that is completed, I can now press Radiance Display. On pressing Radiance Display, all the solid objects within the model get converted to wireframe display, and our sensing plane now has the watts per meter squared values uh, um, displayed on it. Uh, according to this color code key which will appear in the bottom left of the 3D view. Um, we can play with how we visualize that plane within the 3D view. I've currently got uh, the markings between the faces turned on but if you have very small faces that can sort of obscure the results so we can turn that off with this little button down here and we can maybe go to texture paint mode and see it in that, in that way instead. So obviously the sun is coming from this direction, reflecting off the buildings here, causing high values of irradiance. And then we can see the shadows and the light coming between the buildings on each side. We can look at that through our camera view. We can press Z to toggle the solid shading of the other objects in the scene, if we wish. And um, that is now ready to be rendered out. We can either take a screen grab of this 3D view for final presentation or we can do a render. And to do a render we simply go to our render tab and press image under the render section. So we do that um, and that will take a little while possibly to come up. Um, oh. If it comes up at all, sorry, I have a setting here that I shouldn't have on, which is the sequencer setting, setting down here has to be off. So let me re-render that. And we should now start to see our scene appear. Now, I've made a another little mistake there, which is probably just as well in this video tutorial. Um, my sensing plane isn't appearing within the render. So I'm gonna stop that render for now. And the reason it didn't appear in the render is because I told Blender that this plane was totally transparent and in that way it didn't appear in the radiance calculations. But for it to appear in the render, I have to now change that transparency. So basically I have to take the alpha value that I had put down to zero and put it back up to one. So that it's now opaque and this coloration will now appear in the Blender render which we should now see happening. That's fine. So that's pretty much uh, everything that needs to be done to do radiance calculations with Blender. So download the Libby zip file from the HIDE web portal. Take the folder within that zip file, put it in your Mac OS X 
applications folder. Um, within, that applica within that folder, um, which is called Blender-26, uh, there is the Blender application icon. Double click on that icon or drag it to your uh, Mac OS X um, launch dock bar uh, to start Blender and um, off you go. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers, bye. Oh, I will, sorry, one final thing. The, uh, once the image has rendered, the um, color key legend doesn't appear in the render. So if you wish the color key to appear in the render, then um, I would suggest that you take a screen grab of Blender and its 3D view, take the legend key out of the resulting image from that, and then bring it into this image in Photoshop or another image editing suite. Um, one final thing to save this as an image, we can press F3 and that will save, that will ask us then for the place that we want to save um, our PNG file, for example. Um, okay, I think that actually is it now. Thank you. Bye.